Okay, today is the day. We are going to take the Cobra 146 GTL and attempt to get it back on frequency. I've been getting lots of reports that I'm off frequency. So uh, we're going to try and get it back on frequency. And we're going to do it without any test equipment. So our plan here is I have the radio disconnected. Um, I have a dummy load on it. I'm going to move it to another room. And I'm going to talk on it and go over to my unit in here and see what it sounds like. I think if I separate the radios far enough, I will be able to um, hear if it's on, uh, how far off it's off frequency. I think it's a little bit high. I had a really good, um, someone, um, someone I was talking to on DXing, they said they had to set their clarifier at about 11 o'clock to tune me in to uh, to be on frequency. So that kind of goes with what I thought, that it's um, the frequency's a little high. They said I sounded like I was female. So we're gonna go and um, see if separating them in another room and see if we can, um, we can reproduce um, the results there. Okay, I separated them by about six feet. And that appears to be working, so uh, let me show you this. All right, let me show you here. I'm back here. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Voice is sounding on high. Now, all we need to do is go to the correct pot, and since we are running high, we're going to turn it counterclockwise, I believe, to lower it. Now, I'm doing this without any test equipment. We're doing this by ear. Okay, looking at the board here, you can see in the center there that this is VR3. It is straight up. We're going to try turning it down a bit and see if we can get the frequencies or the audio sounding better. Okay, I'll let you be the judge here. I had to turn the pot clockwise, so let's see what you think. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Okay, I think that sounds better. Um, we're going to hook the radio back up and um, do a radio check. CQDX 595 Northern Nevada. Can I get a frequency check, please? 73 is on the side. 270 Northeastern Alberta, Canada. CQDX 595 Northern Nevada. Wanting to get a frequency check, please. Come on back, Kansas. This is 595. 595, your radio is sounding fine out here in Kansas. 0722, sorry. 0722, I appreciate it. I just uh, had to readjust my frequency. Glad to hear it's working. 73, Stia, 595. All right, 595, you have a great day at DX and a better tomorrow. 0722, out here in the flat land. Quiet. All right, we have everything hooked up again. Um, got rid of the temporary connections and put it back where it belongs. Sounding good. Um, I did. Um, I didn't film it, but I did make a slight adjustment because it sounded slightly off. But as you can see from the radio check, they said I sound on frequency. Um, off camera, I did a few more. Um, frequency checks and one um, one guy on the radio was nice enough he had a frequency counter and he told me the frequency and it was spot on I don't know if I was extremely lucky doing it by ear or um, I just have a good ear for it but anyway it's on frequency now I would like to give a shout out to James um, who suggested using the two radio method 
And I only had to separate them about 15, 10 feet, 15 feet. And with the dummy load on the Cobra, it uh, worked fine. So we're on frequency now, and I'm happy. I didn't know you could do that without a frequency counter. So um, there you go. And thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.